Many of you may not know, maybe you do, but I am a counselor. I am a marriage, family, and couples counselor. Um, one of the things that um, we have to do is be able to put language um, to some of the things that you know people may be struggling with, they may not see, whether it be uh, symptoms, diagnosis, or uh, just language to feeling and emotion. And something that I've saw that really blessed me um, is about depression. See, depression is a, a, a really, it's a really interesting thing, but it is a mental disorder. I want you to catch that. It's a mental disorder. It's a legitimate mental disorder. Um, and you've had to have certain symptoms for about two weeks or more. Um, certain things like, you know, fatigue, overwhelming fatigue, you know, hopelessness, not having energy, you know, not having real enthusiasm for daily tasks not feeling up to really being around people, desiring to isolate yourself, maybe even suicidal thoughts, um, not having clear vision of the future or really any purpose in the future, um, you know, questioning why you're really here, um, really having trouble with communicating, um, having trouble being out and doing what you would normally do having trouble even getting out of bed, having trouble consecrating and focusing. These are all very critical things. Um, and one of the things that I, I, I want to say to you that I've noticed is these are the same symptoms that come when you have not been before God. It's very critical. When you have not been spending time with God and anybody that is in an intimate relationship with God knows, no, you spend one day not talking to God. All of a sudden, you're a little more irritable. All of a sudden, you're just not up for anything. You don't really want to talk to nobody. You don't want to be around nobody. It's like a person who hasn't had their coffee. Well, I haven't had my coffee yet. I can't talk to people. I can't do that. When you haven't been in communion with God, even if it's just for a week, if you can go that long without talking to God, it gets very dark. It feels very depressing. And to me, depression is just an explosion. A volcano erupts not because it just simply has a lot of lava, it's just because the pressure got too much, too much buildup eventually made it explode. And I don't know who I'm talking to, but you've been carrying too much. You feel like you're on the verge of burnout. You feel like you're on the verge of snapping on someone. You feel like you're on the verge of quitting. You might even want to give up. And I need you to understand, you need to release all that pressure. And the only place you can do that safely without a breakdown is in the presence of God. As you showering yourself with meditating on his word, and being in his presence in prayer and communion with him. You need to be literally releasing all the weight and giving it to him. He's the only one that can provide you clarity, relief, and true peace. And to keep you from burning out. And to keep you from becoming depressed. Depression is a real thing. And somebody watching may be depressed. And I encourage you to pray in the Holy Spirit and ask him to strengthen you, ask him to empower you, ask him to comfort you because he promised that. He promised to stand by you. He promised to help you. He promised to even teach you, you. Ask him, why do I feel the way that I feel, Holy Spirit? God, why am I feeling like this? Let him minister to you. And God may uncover certain things to you that you might not even notice that has been weighing you down so much. I encourage you that even if you need to see a counselor, a faith-based counselor, a Christian counselor, reach out to them because you may just need help just kind of putting language to it. And this thing, life gets tough, but if you can learn how to run to God with what weighs you down, you will experience the freedom of God. I encourage you today, spend time with God, get in God's presence. Don't do any other thing without getting before God. That's your refuge. That's your safe place. There's no performing there. There's no masking there. There's no faking it there. But I encourage you, whatever's been weighing you down, because I know it's been a lot, it's one thing after another. And we're trying to keep you 
from exploding before they try to call you crazy now. Mm -mm, you're just tired. To me, any mental illness or mental disorder, it's safe to say you're probably just tired of all the weight you've been carrying, the pain you've been carrying, things you've experienced that you probably haven't even told anybody about. You're tired, your mind is tired, but let me encourage you. God is not the author of confusion or disorder. So God is not the author of anything mentally that's on an assignment to take you out or that's harassing you or tormenting you or gripping you. God's not in that. But God is in the God of God is the God of order and peace, clarity. God wants you to get clarity. God wants you to be refreshed by him. I love you. I encourage you to reach out for help. And I want you to seek God and ask him to strengthen you and do something special in your heart and in your mind. God bless you.